What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Martu Sasi back with another video. In this video, we are reacting to the seven deadly sins as Roblox YouTubers. Let's get into it. Greed, envy, pride, gluttony, wrath, sloth, and lust. Okay. These are the seven deadly sins, and here are seven Roblox YouTubers who fit each sin. This video was inspired by a Waterbowl series, The Seven Deadly Sins as YouTubers. I have Link seen in that. The description. Let's begin with greed. Greed is an excessive desire to acquire or possess more than one needs. Built into games, aka Preston, is an example of greed. Although not a YouTuber, Preston owns the Roblox studio Big Games, which made popular games such as Pet Simulator, Big Paintball, and My Restaurant. Okay. Big Games' most popular game, Pet Sim X, is known as a cash grab in the community because of the heavy monetization in the game. This is because almost everything in the game requires you to spend lots of time to unlock something or to spend Robux and quickly unlock it faster. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, one thing before we go even uh, before we even go deeper into this video, I know nothing about the Roblox community. So, hey man, y'all can educate me down in the comments about the Roblox community. I, I don't really know nothing about it. So I'm Which isn't really today. fair to free to play new. players. Many players also see Pet Sim X as child gambling. This is because Pet Sim has a loot box system in the forms of eggs. Eggs can be bought for massive amounts of Robux and only have a small chance to get a rare pet, similar to real life gambling. This situation okay. got even worse, as sometimes the drop rate percentage didn't even show up and was replaced by question marks. This meant that players couldn't even tell how rare a pet was. Preston was also in hot water for selling Titanic plushies for 350 US dollars. Oh Going on Twitter my, saying, okay, okay, okay. Nah, this is out of, this is out of pocket. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be so many little kids playing, playing Roblox. Yeah, child gambling is crazy. 350, you know I can get with 350. Dang, 350 ain't a lot nowadays. It's crazy. You used to buy like you used to be able to buy anything with with, with $300. Now you can barely buy barely buy anything. Saying how entitled free to play <laughs> players crazy. are, promoting NFTs to children and falsely DMCA striking games. I could probably get one pair of shoes, bro. Big Games recently released a new pet simulator game called Pet Sim 99. Shoes. It seems to be pay to win, but not as bad as Pet Sim X. Preston has made jokes about people calling him greedy. This shows that him and his company probably don't care about hate. Preston is still money hungry even though he's probably made millions of dollars. This is why he's a perfect representation of greed. Speaking of companies ignoring hate, let's move on to our next channel, Lanky Box. Lanky Box is our candidate for envy. Envy is a sad or resentful I mean, Yeah, you could buy it. you could buy a PS4, but it's like when the PS5 is out and it's like a hundred dollars more. It's like eh, PS4, PS5, you know. On towards the. Yeah, you can get a Samsung. You get a nice little phone. It's or possessions of someone else, or in simpler terms, jealousy. Lanky Box is a YouTube kids channel with over 28 million subscribers, which consists of two guys, Adam and Justin, playing games. Lanky Box originally started as this YouTube parody channel. It's weird, I don't know how to describe it. At first, people didn't really mind their content. People only started disliking their content when they made a switch to gaming content. Mm. Lanky Box's content slowly began to be more catered towards kids as the videos began to get oversaturated. With this change, Lanky Box began to copy thumbnails. Lanky nah, Box has stolen so many thumbnails crazy. that I can't even find the first time they stole one. Items of Lanky Box are laughability, sketch, pre-craft, and countless other clips. Bro, okay, bro, come on, bro. You can Why would you steal an exact thumb? First of all, it's different if if let's say you react you react into that video or you making a video about that particular video and you put your picture or you put it's about or you're plugging that video pretty much 
It's different if you plug in a video, but you're just copying the thumbnail verbatim and not really changing anything. <laughs> and not shouting out the video. Not plugging the video. Just copy the, th the exact thumbnail. Wow, bro. Also, Linky Box got called out for reusing old videos and acting like they were new. That's crazy. Yeah, plushie is 300, 3, 354 plushie. I'm not paying. Me personally, I'm not paying that <laughs> for <a> plushie. <laughs> Bro, that plushie better be able to cook and, and suck. I'm playing. Big craft pointed out <laughs> that the thumbnail designers on Nike Box probably look on Google for easy resources to make an easy thumbnail. They also probably don't play Roblox, so they are unaware of what is part of the game and what isn't part of the game. And so when I see a thumbnail like this, I don't think the Lanky Box went to my channel, copy and pasted my thumbnail onto theirs. What probably happened is someone on their team, again, they probably had dozens of employees. I mean, you kind of have to have that many employees just to make as many videos as they do a day. But one of those right. employees probably found my thumbnail somewhere, maybe on Google or something. They thought it'd make for an easy thumbnail. They grabbed it, put it in their thumbnail, bada bing, bada boom. They probably don't even know it's from my video. When it comes to these two thumbnails here, the reason why they probably put Sketch in their thumbnail here is I guarantee you one of the employees, thumbnail thumbnail designers don't usually play these games like they literally just sit there and make thumbnails all day so one of the employees making the thumbnails oh, probably job. thought this was part of the game they probably literally thought sketch had something to do with the game and so they put them in the thumbnail without even probably knowing it's sketch they may not even know who sketch is this is just a theory though as lanky box has not even addressed this controversy at all lanky box stealing other creators thumbnails is essentially them trying to be like the other creator this is why they are perfect representation of envy Mm. Lanky Box may have never addressed their drama, but our next YouTuber, Coral, definitely did address their drama in a weird way. Next up is Pride. Pride is the excessive belief in one's own ability, or in simpler terms, selfishness. I kind of struggled to find a popular YouTuber who fits this in a Pride, but I ultimately chose Coral. Coral was a member of the popular Roblox group, The Pals. Other members were Sub, Dennis, Alex, and Sketch. The pals would get over 1 billion views across their Minecraft and Roblox videos until mm. Coral made this statement on Twitter. Making ad money over saving children. Glad so many of you see it this way. Coral said this after a talk about adults using videos featuring kids for their own pleasure. This it's implied that gold. he would rather make money than keep kids safe from weirdos. This tweet yeah, led to crazy. some back and forth between Jane G, another YouTuber, Coral, and a fan named Tiffany, who would later say this. This is why I left the Pals fandom. Too much shade, and now one of the Pals members making not needed drama over YouTube ads. Coral would reply basically saying that Tiffany was too old to watch the Pals, as it was made for 6-12 to 12 year olds. Tiffany would then say they spent $100 to have the Pals on the back of their school jersey and she's disappointed. Coral responded with the one word that would end his career, cringe, with a weird face at the end. This led Coral to be kicked from the pals, which later led to the pals channel ending <laughs> completely. This was not the end for Coral as he would post one last photo of himself holding a gun oh with no God. context. The gun could have been Bro, fake or real, but it's still not fully confirmed. As of today, Coral's channel is now gone. Coral didn't Dang. even care about his fans. This is why he's a perfect representation for Pride. Uwokute Single is another YouTuber who knows what it's like to have their channel gone. Uwokute Single, yes, that's her name, and for the sake of this video, Bro, I'll be calling her Single. Is I don't understand how people can have supporters and not care about their supporters when their supporters are literally the reason why they are. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't understand that. It's our candidate for gluttony. How does that Gluttony happen? is the overconsumption of something to the point of waste. Single is a Roblox TikToker and YouTube short creator who would post easy to make content. People already hated her right from the bat as her content was cringe and also advertised Roblox gambling sites to children, which were most likely scams. Single did eventually stop advertising gambling sites, but keep this in mind. 
Single's content was basically all the same, which is just her begging for people to like and subscribe. I got 5 million subscribers and no one congratulated me. I feel myself so sad. Yo, the fact that they really be scared. Bro, the fact that they really be scamming in the Roblox community is insane, bro. Oh my god. 5 million? She made a post like this if you love God. Wow. Can you like and I don't know what's going on, man. 2024, I don't know. Subscribe to make me happy. I As I said earlier, people despised her for her actions. This led to a group on this app called Telegram to be created in which users would report cringe YouTube shorts creators like Single. This mass report led to YouTube banning some of Single's friends, so she made all her YouTube shorts private and hid her channel. This is only what Single said, but she could be lying about some stuff. Her channel was mass reported, but she may have actually not hid her channel. This is because these channels were getting mass reported and basically kept posting the same thing. Under YouTube's wow, terms and guidelines, this will count as spam and is against the TOS. It's still not fully clear what she happened to her channel, especially because Uwakute Single yeah. loves to lie. Nowadays, Single's is. channel is back but and yeah. her content is still cringe, but less repetitive. She has seen a slight decrease in views, however. If Uwakute Single just stopped posting the same videos over and over again, she may have not got banned in the first place. This mm. is why Uwakute Single is a perfect representation for gluttony. This story reminds me of Lisa Gaming, another YouTuber despised by everyone. Lisa Gaming is our candidate for wrath. Before we continue, I'd like to ask if you can like and subscribe if you're enjoying, and also subscribe to my second channel and join my Discord server. Link in description. Wrath is uncontrolled feelings of anger, rage, and sometimes hatred. Believe okay. it or not, there was a point in time when Lisa was not hated by everyone. Back in July 2017, Lisa's first four videos were actually decently liked. She posted two Roblox music videos and two Roblox tutorial videos before posting a video exposing Roblox YouTubers. Oh, However, the stuff she said in that video was complete lies. Lisa knew everything she said in that video was, was lies. She knew that seconds. if she posted really bad videos, <laughs> it would get hate comments, which increased engagement and views. This is wow. known as rage bait. This was only Lisa's first drama, however, as she would post a video that would instantly make her hated by everyone. On the 9th of bro, April, what did she say in that minute and 50 seconds? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> well, the name basically says it. He's a, a god at packing. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, shoot. He gotta be a god. I mean, pack god. That's that's a hey, pack god. 2020, pack Lisa god, would post a video out. where she would pack trick god. kids into giving her access to their Blocksburg houses and then destroy them. If you're unaware of Bloxburg, houses in Bloxburg take lots of time and Roblox to build. This okay. is one of the most hated Roblox videos of all time. It sits at over 5 million views and has all negative comments. After she blew up, she began to make more rage pay content. This time she targeted popular creators like Flamingo, Creecraft, It's Funny, and some ordinary gamer. This time she would accuse- I think I heard of Flamingo. I think I heard of some of being racist, yeah. hacking your channel, making assumptions of their political views, and just weird stuff in general. The crazy thing is that this is not even the worst thing Lisa has done. She has had CP, racism, Islamophobia, homophobia, and doxing allegations against oh my her, God. which is most likely true based on evidence. These are all topics for a different day, however. I suggest searching Lisa files on YouTube if you want to learn more. Lisa's ability to lie and spread hate is a perfect representation of wrath. Lisa loves spreading hate towards other people and creators. At least our oh next God, YouTuber, Pal Envy, like that, is only hurting themselves, unlike Lisa. Unlike the name like suggests, that, Pal Envy is not our YouTuber for Envy and is our YouTuber for Sloth. Sloth is physical laziness and instead of picking a YouTuber who makes lazy content. He used to have a channel with this guy called Leg. One day, like, remove fat guys. Ass. Damn. The channel had about to. Not probably got it. Dang. 3 million with 30 Dead. videos. That ratio is. That ratio is crazy. I decided I'm not to lie. pick someone who's lazy in real life. How I'm is a Bloxburg YouTuber who went viral on TikTok for showing his disgusting room. You most likely seen his videos from another YouTuber reacting to him on TikTok. 
These videos also could be fake, however. But I'm sure it may have been staged. Sure it's like, what, 5 million a video? 10 million? A, I'm. Staged to look videos. disgusting. We're gonna be watching these subs. videos under the assumption that it's real. Uh, okay. We're gonna. We're gonna watch him. I'm honestly kind of scared because some of the stuff he shows oh, she doing is a really disgusting. Wait, he, I don't know if and he is. And like I said know. earlier, these are they doing a reaction. Like, I'm like 80 percent sure these are fake, but they're still kind of interesting. And we're just going under the assumption that these are real. Okay. Cleaning my room because a girl's coming over. Bro does not have a girl coming over. Guys, <laughs> I've got a girl. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> bro, she had to let. They had to let it be known, bro. They had to let it be known, bro. Like, the <laughs> nah, the narration is crazy. <laughs> the narration is. <gasps> Hold on, y'all. Nah, let me play it back, bro. I gotta play it back. These are fake, but they're still kind of interesting, and we're just going under the assumption that these are real. Okay. Cleaning my room because a girl's coming over. Bro does not have a girl coming over. <laughs> Guys, I've got a girl coming over, and my room's got to be spotless when she gets here. I don't want to <laughs> gross her out. Here's the room before. This is the situation out. What the hell is that on your table? This nigga got... Bro, what... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the f What is this nigga got on his table, though? Is that... This nigga has a pile of crumbs on his table. Four Dr. Pepper cans. Four water bottle caps. <laughs> Another Dr. Pepper in the back. Looks clean to me. Uh, you're out of your mind. <laughs> Bro, I don't think he's pulling anything with this room. I'm going to be honest. I don't think he's pulling anything with this room. If a Discord mod can pull, then we can pull too. <laughs> he pulled a nerd. Bit. Outlook. I Bruh, think that's it's gotten crazy. pretty bad. Um, Very bad. but we're gonna get this fixed up real quick. Those crunchy socks down there between my dresser and the bed have to go. Oh my god. Ew. Oh good. If he Ew. Finds that, what is that? Running. Bro, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, that's wood. I thought he had a I thought he had a, a pile of crumbs on his table. I was gonna say, uh uh oh. Bro, how does it get like bro, you gotta be one of the laziest people in the world. You gotta be lazy. Now, like you gotta be really lazy for, to let all this just build up. As I would, you get what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying, hero. Like how does how do you even get to this point of having so much trash everywhere? Down. I drink the old ones. And <laughs> what Starbucks is that? Did not Why is there flakes? I wasn't gonna drink this anymore. Um, I think I'm done buying Starbucks because it molds really quickly, which isn't good it's for like saving for later. I found. Also, at these like. If these are fake, you're just wasting the food. Yo, I don't get it. Dirty a spoon, spoon on my floor. I don't even know Ew. where this comes. He don't even put the dishes in the sink. It's from, but he don't even take the dishes out his room. This man got an old pop tart on the table. Bruh, this not satire. I don't think this is satire. Look how old everything is. It looks like it's been sitting there. Like it really looks like it's been sitting for a while. Like this is not. This is not new stuff. <laughs> this is not new. Doesn't look good. You guys ever do this? Bro invited Nick Akato Avocado to dinner. <laughs> Bro, Nick Akato came over to eat. I left this sandwich out and I totally forgot to eat it. Oh, I did all the time. Bro, look that sandwich was hard. I found a Bro. picture of me when I was a kid. Can't you see the glow up? I look really good now. Huh. Anyway, this orange got molded, which... And, and he's just showing us all of this like it's trophies, you know, this is his trophies. This, this is his. Seems kind of weird because it still has a shell, this is his, so uh, that's trophies. a bad design. And this might actually be his actual room. He probably does this for like weeks because he actually actually let this stuff mold and rot. Exactly. It so doesn't like, bruh, 
trust me, I've had cousins that used to sneak snacks and, you know what I'm saying, not clean their house, not clean their room. This is what not cleaning your room looks like. This is what it looks like. I know what that shit look like. I know what, what fucking old snacks and I know what that shit look like. This is what it looks like. Nigga, the floor don't look vacuum, bruh. Oh my god. It's kind of making me sick cuz I got OCD. It's going to be gonna like weeks I got OCD. And stuff like that. It's kind of so making me sick weird. just looking at this shit, bro. And he can't just like this is an actual house as well that he's in. He can't just at? like oh buy god. another right, this he can't just get a separate house to do these TikToks. Anyway though, we've made a lot of progress. It looks so good. I think she'll be really impressed when she gets here. Because, bro, I mean, get her trash, like, man. my gaming setup's clean, so when she sits down, it's like, bro, you know what's crazy? The niggas that don't be cleaning their room, bro, they bed is never made up. They bed is never made up. It, it look exactly like this. Like, this is what it looks clean? like. I, I really swear. Good. It's forks think? and everything okay, under there, bro. It's not, yeah, it's pretty good, actually. But, overall... I it's it's, it's really dishes under his bed and everything. It's all types of dishes. It's all types of... Bro, I'm telling y'all. It's everything. You, Bro, he probably gonna find stuff from years ago. Good. Please wish me luck on my date, guys. What's I'm good, really nervous. Man? No and I think it's gonna go great. Welcome Thanks back. for watching. Like I said earlier, Pal Andre could actually be doing this on purpose just for attention. The problem with this is that this is most likely his actual house that he's living in. As it's obviously expensive to buy another house. And he can't just buy a separate house to do these TikToks. Hal oh, Envy's laziness of not cleaning his room has gone so far that there's mold growing and there's cockroaches living there. <laughs> this is why he's a perfect mold. representation <laughs> of sloth. Not even Pal Envy's room is as disgusting as our next YouTuber, Fave. This man got rats in his PC case? Ugh, bruh. Since Faith's story is very long, I'll only cover the gist of it. Okay, Faith is our you, YouTuber you, for lust. Lust is intense desire, usually for sexual pleasure. Okay, now this is the one that I'm curious about. How gonna they? How are they gonna incorporate the sin of lust into the into these Roblox YouTubers? Unfortunately, there are a lot of pedos in the Roblox community, but I, I did chose not Faith. know that pedos. Y'all got EDPs in the Roblox community? For this video, as the story is one of the most popular cases. Faye began YouTube in August 28, 2010, making videos on OG Roblox. The videos were as good as any other OG Roblox okay, video. CEO. As he continued to make I content, the quality of his videos increased along with views. Eventually, allegations about Faye being a pedo had come out. At the time, everyone thought wow. this was just lies, but now we know they are true. In 2018, when Fave was 17 and the victim was 13, Fave was exposed for having inappropriate text messages on Snapchat and Discord with the victim. Fave would threaten to send nudes to the victim's family and friends. Fave yep, yeah, you heard that right. Said Fave. He also said that he has a special folder when referring to a nude picture showing he most likely has CP. A second incident also happened when Fave was 19 or 20 and the victim was 14. Fave would talk very inappropriately with the victim. More situations were brought up, but these two cases had the most evidence. Like oh, I said shoot. earlier, I feel uncomfortable showing screenshots of the conversation. If oh, you would man. like to know the full details of Fave's story, I suggest searching up on YouTube, Fave and videos will pop up covering all details in full length. The sad thing is that Fave could still be doing the same thing. Someone actually Dang, managed to bro. call Fave and he would actually pick up, basically confirming he's not in jail. Bro, the Roblox phone is funny as hell, bro. Hello? Hey, Fave. So, why are you still running from the allegations? Faves YouTube channel, Roblox account, Instagram, and Twitter are not even banned, meaning you can still be. <laughs> Bro, he pressed them like like they press EDP. <laughs> why are you still running, bro? <laughs> Talking to minors. Bro, the thing is, EDP couldn't run, so it was over with. Without us knowing.
As of today, <laughs> his Roblox account remains inactive and he has not posted a video in two years. Fave messaging minors inappropriately he wasn't shows getting nowhere, nowhere why he's fast. a perfect representation for lust. Thanks for watching. Dang. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to not miss any of my live streams. Go okay. check them out in the live chat. Alright, man. That's it for the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. And peace out.